We are Cindy and Eddie. And this is Squeeze the Day. Today is a travel day and that means we get to see some more countryside. It also means we get to go and see another city and that's where we're taking you now. And after we get settled into our room, we're going to go out and explore for a while. Hi folks, welcome back to another video. Today we are in Bacalar and we're going to find out what makes this a popular tourist destination. Bacalar is a four-hour drive south of Cancun on the Yucatan Peninsula. It's also about 30 minutes away from Chetumal, which is a city close to the border of Belize. It's 110 pesos per person to enter into the fort. If that is something that you're interested in doing, it might be worth it. Off to the side, you have a really great view as well. And of course, they do have steps going directly down to all the resort areas. As fun as it is to have a fort that you can explore while visiting Bacalar, that's not necessarily what makes it a popular tourist destination. So let's keep exploring. Next, we're going to go explore some of the public waterfront access points. Let's start off at this one. Opens at 7 a.m., closes at 7 p.m. This is the public access docks, which means you have free access. You can go jump off the end of them and swim. You can come here and secure a rental if you'd like. The options are only limited by your imagination. Just make sure you're following the rules and being safe. If you're a little bit curious about the Laguna, they actually give you some information right here at the entry. Just a short walk away is this entry point. We're going to go and visit it now. At this point, I'm going to note there are several resorts along the coastline if you're interested in any of those. Us, however, we're going in for the inexpensive route. By this point, we are starting to see a pattern. The Laguna is quite massive and very popular. Not only is it great for boating, but swimming as well. However, we're not going for a swim just yet. We still have a little bit more to explore before we make the decision on what we believe makes Bacalar a popular tourist destination. And after a moment to catch our breath and enjoy the view, we make our way to something a lot of people have been telling us we need to go visit. It's at this point that I've got to say I am really glad we decided to rent bicycles because it really makes it easy to get to this cenote. Part of the reason it caught our attention is because it's called Cenote Azul. And if you've seen any of our previous videos, you might have seen one we made about a beautiful travel destination called Agua Azul. We will leave a link to that in the description. This is Cenote Azul, one of the most popular cenotes in the area. If you look behind me, you'll see that it is quite spectacular. We're gonna go and take a swim, I'll tell you how it is. After you go through the gate, which is over there, you're gonna come around this way and go down here. We're following Cindy as she goes off to the right. If you need a bathing suit or snacks, they have those available. And go past the restaurant and you'll have access to the water. As you can see, this is where we switch over to the GoPro. Now we're going to see how deep it actually is by jumping in. The water here is perfect for swimming in. Very refreshing. 
It's amazing. Also, you can tell that the local community absolutely loves it here. And the price is reasonable. We paid 25 pesos a piece. That's like a dollar. Fifty, a dollar twenty-five each. Two fifty for the intense for both of us. The other thing to note is that there is a restaurant here that makes it very easy to spend the entire day here and relax and enjoy your time. This is a win-win. No wonder why this place is so popular. In this video and in our last video, we've shown those blue buses a couple of times. They leave from the Cancun area and make their way to all the popular spots. So if you're interested in doing a Cancun vacation tour, feel free to get one of those. Costs a little bit extra, but might be worth it in the long run. Now that we've had a chance to swim in the cenote, we're going to go to the Laguna and take a swim there. And for the records, they do have lockers available if you need them, like we did. Now let's go in. There are several ways that you can gain access to the Laguna. We decided to go with this one because it was affordable, but they still have other things available to do here besides just swim in the Laguna. The water is really temperate. It's like bath water. Yeah. And we're so. both touching the ground, so it's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. You don't have to swim when you're out here. You can actually just walk around. So there's hammocks and swings. But we're going to take you over to the sandbar. This is the sandbar. We're just going out as far as we can go. As you can see, this is all walking distance. I think it gets a little bit deeper though. I think we have figured out what exactly it is that makes Bacalar a very popular tourist destination. Amazing blue water not only in the cenote but out here on the Laguna as well. It's great for swimming, great for boating, and very popular. Food, shade, more shade, inconvenient state. Make sure you're following the rules. That's really cool. As you can see, it does get busy. When they are at capacity, they're gonna make you wait, but it's worth it. Get here early, that's the key. Which one was your favorite of the two between the cenote and the beach? The sandbar was the best for me. Turned a corner and found this Volkswagen bug looking place. It's a restaurant. That's so cute. We love it. Looks like it's more than just Volkswagens. Definitely have a bunch of classic car stuff in here. Hey, welcome back. We are getting ready to travel to our next destination. We're heading out today to a new place and we're going to be getting some errands done. We've got to get tickets to go to our next destination. We've got to get a magnet and we've got to get on the road. First thing we're going to do is get a magnet because, well, it's Bacalar. We need that to add to our collection of all the cities we've been to. Right now we are looking for the place that has Collectivos. We were told it's right next to where the ADO station is, so that's where we're going. We found a Collectivo drop. That's the Collectivo and it's right there. It's 90 pesos per person to get from here to Mahawal. We walked next door, went to the auto to find out what their ticket prices were going to be and to be honest, turns out it's the exact same price. 90 pesos, so we're going to go with the ADO. Uh, they're better with English. They're a more comfortable van and their equipment is up to date. Basically, we feel like we are being overcharged for the Collectivo. So we're going with audio. Yeah. 
This is Agua Azul. No, this is not Agua Azul. Cenote Azul. Okay. Ay, 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 ay. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that you can continue to follow along with us as we continue on this adventure. And as always, squeeze the day and be well.